Hey everybody, it's Multiclassic Gamer here, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. Um, in between the this episode and the previous episode, I decided to get my N64 break because if you leave an N64 running for too long, eventually it will overheat and that will cause it to crash. So you want to give it some time to rest every now and then. I'm kind of glad I did that. Um, so in this episode, we are going to... Um, start going, making our way down the castle, and as we go down the castle, we're going to um, explore the inside of it as well. Like, first of all, we have this switch for Donkey Kong, so I'm going to go back up to the top and get Donkey Kong out of the tag barrel. Um, <clears throat> so this first room that we're going to is the library, okay? And in the library, um, well, we'll just have to see when we get in there with DK. <laughs> it's uh, actually more the inside of the castle. That's the, that's the scariest part of, the, part of the level. I don't know if I should say scary because it doesn't really scare me. Like it, it probably would have if I was younger. Like I'm pretty sure it did back when I originally played this game. When I was like uh, three or four. It's hard to judge how old I was back then. But now that we got Donkey Kong out, we're gonna go hit that switch there. <clears throat> I've been drinking a lot of Sunny D lately, because I guess I like Sunny D. <laughs> um, so, it's not really what you think is going to happen, okay? You think um, that we hit, when we hit the switch, this door is going to open. Nope, that's not actually the case. That's the door that's going to open, okay? This door right here is the one we're going to come out of when we're done with the library, okay? This door over here is the one you're supposed to get through. I mean, enter the library through. And it's kind of weird. You have to jump onto this cloud and then fall through the door, I guess. Now, inside the library here, we have these bats flying around here, and I'll probably grab some of this homing ammo here. And yeah, we're just gonna shoot him down. Get him out of the Um, I think we go. Want to go this way first? Uh, yep, this is where we're supposed to go first. So in here we have some of these enemies to kill. One of those traditional things where they close the door on you and you have to defeat all the enemies inside. It's pretty straightforward. And when we, after you de defeat all the enemies, a switch will appear on top of these giant books. Like, we're really going to take the time to sit through and read all of them. Seriously, what kind of monkey reads? Okay, and that will open up a passageway, which we will access real soon. <clears throat> so, um, in between this episode and the previous episode, while I gave my N64 a break, um, I went on YouTube, and, uh, oh, by the way, today is this... <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> um, I spilled some juice in that. I moved my mouse around, like, caused the... The, um, the import disappear, but... Yeah, I spilled... I spilled the juice. <laughs> um, what was I trying to say? Oh, yeah, um, today is... December 3rd, 2011, Saturday. Same day as I said uh, in a previous episode. But, oh yeah, and it's uh, 7.41 right now. Okay, so, um, in between this episode and the previous episode, I went on uh, YouTube, and I discovered that I got my 200 subscriber today. And uh, his name is The Awesome Post. Um, awesome Guy Post, or something like that. 
But anyways, whoever you are, um, I'd like to give a shout out to you because I just, I just um, don't know how I s how else to say thank you for being my 200 subscriber. I mean, like, I have very few ways of thanking my subscribers. I'm just not really good at that sort of thing. Okay, just know that I'm very thankful for all the support you guys give to me, and I, and every subscriber counts at this point because you guys know I'm not really that well known on YouTube, and a lot of people say that my videos are good. And I'm just not. My only problem is I'm just not well known enough. So, and I can understand that because I just got on YouTube like. Actually, no, I can't understand that because I've been on YouTube for two years now, so... Yeah, I just don't know. But, whatever, okay, so you got these books here, and, uh... Some of you out there who are Banjo-Kazooie fans, you're probably gonna recognize them as, like, they look like the Cheeto book. I think that's what it's called, the Cheeto book in Banjo-Kazooie, where he gave you, like, all these cheat codes you could enter. Well, yeah, um... It's kind of weird how they actually look like the Cheeto book. And another thing that about it is that the funny thing about it is that this game actually came out a year after Banjo Kazooie, so it's quite possible that they used him as a reference. But whatever. Okay, so get into your strong con because the only way you're gonna get through these um, books is when you're invincible. Okay, at least without taking any hit. I'm sure you can still get through here, but you're guaranteed. You're, you're pretty much guaranteed to take a hit. And we just got Donkey Kong's banana metal. Okay, so that makes 80 of Donkey Kong's bananas, and we've still got plenty more areas left to do with DK, and he, we've already got 80 of his bananas. So anyways, here's your golden banana right here. That's 174, okay. So only 26 bananas left. And uh, right here, this especially creeped me out when I was little, okay, because look. What does this look like to you? Yeah, it it looks like blood. It actually looks like blood. Like I'm not sure if it's actually meant to look like blood, but it does. It I know it's like it's probably supposed to be like part of the carpet or something, but maybe the carpet is supposed to be blood. I don't know. But that's what's so creepy about the library is that it actually looks like blood over here, like somebody died from being bored from reading or something. I don't know, I'm just failing to be funny. Okay. Hit the switch and you're out of here. The coconut switch. Alright, and that's it for the library. Alright, now we need to find out who we're gonna need next. And uh, I'm hoping that the next room that we go to will be in a. be next to a tag barrel or next to a banana port. Either one would do. Okay, we got some platform to do here. Right. Oh yeah, I know what's next. Next up is the ballroom. Okay. So, first thing you want to do is you want to enter there with Diddy Kong. Because Diddy Kong is the main part of the mission, but when you get out here, at first, you want to get... Once you're out here, before this door closes, you want to get Tiny out. Because you're going to be using her in there next. Now, the creepiest thing about the ballroom is they can actually hear, you know, ghostly laughters in the background, and even some of them might even sound like Gruntilda from Banjo-Kazooie. It's, like, really creepy. Oh, here's the bloody carpet right here. Yep. Okay, so, it, once you're in the ballroom, you want to defeat all these enemies, just like we did back in the library with DK. Um... Okay, so this is why you want to come in here with Tiny later, is because um, you're going to use this panel and get you to a place where you can't normally get without Tiny. Once you kill the last enemy, a Diddy Kong barrel will appear. And does this look familiar to you? If it doesn't look familiar to you, and you've seen episode 64 of this, L of this same LP, then something's wrong with you. Because these are the same exact candles from that cabin in Crystal Caves, okay? In case you don't know that yet. So, we're going to do what any good monkey would do right now. First of all, collect all these crystal coconuts and banana skins. 
crystal coconuts are important, but I don't know about the banana skins unless you really, really suck at, you know, collecting banana fairies. If you do, I don't know what to tell you. Anyways, into the barrel. Oh yeah, and once you light these candles, instead of handing you the golden banana like they did in Crystal Cave, Caves, um, you are instead going to be rewarded with a banana barrel. Yeah, awesome reward, huh? Pretty sure I'll be Thank you. Yeah. And uh, when that banana barrel appears, we will be playing the hardest variation of yet another mini game. Except it's not going to be anywhere near as bad as uh, as Beaver Bother was. Okay? It's not going to be as much of a bother as Beaver Bother was. The the bother. That was actually a quote from some pretty something. It's actually as old as one. Okay, that's, so that's a quarter of Diddy Kong's videos. But now, enough with my silly math skills, okay? We're playing the hardest variation of Minecart Mayhem, okay? But, to be honest, I really don't think this one is as hard as... No. Okay, this is just as hard as the one in Fungi Forest was. It's the same thing. Two barrels and you get a minute. So, it, I think it's the same thing. To speed up right now. I think they might have better AI this time, so that could be the only difference. Uh, might be the same thing. I hope I can get this right. Come on, come on, come on. No. Let's try this again. Welcome to bonus stage. This minigame is not that hard, okay? Trust me. You know, I had... I got... I'm pretty sure I got it on the first try back in Fungi Forest, so... It... It shouldn't be much of a stretch from that... Here. I mean, it's really... It's the same thing, okay? You shouldn't have that much trouble with it. Or say that now I'm gonna fail. Whoa! That was... That was all luck. That was just luck right there. I don't know... What just happened there? But that was just luck. Okay, now I'm going to sit down and trick them out. It's probably your best bet is to trick the TNT barrels out. Then you'll have a lot, a lot more luck. Okay, speed to slow down. Oh wait, no. They, they, they took the wrong path, and they, even though they knew that was gonna, that was over there. Okay, that was an easy one right there. Again, I used to have trouble on this, but not anymore. Okay, next we need to get Tiny out. Okay, now before the door closes, real quick, get Tiny out. Um, I, crap, I forgot to check and see who what these guys' names was when I was on YouTube. Okay, so that's 55, the tiniest bananas now. Oh crap, we're out of time. Dang it. Um, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll see you guys in the next episode, okay. So, um, next time on Let's Play Donkey Kong 64, we will see where this, uh, tiny pad leads us to, okay? And then we'll go from there. So, um, thank you for watching episode 75 of Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. I'm Multiclass Gamer, signing out. See you guys in the next episode. Bye.
Yes, Gratilda. I will do a Let's Play of Banjo Kazooie. Or will I? 